Let's keep it to play, courtesy of Rogan again. This is courtesy of the Joe Rogan subreddit, and it features Rogan ranting about AI. But one of the things that's interesting about this rant is that he seems very, very worried and afraid about losing wealth, influence, whatever it may be, with the introduction of AI and how fast you know that whole area is flipping, developing and evolving in real time. Um, he seems to be incredibly paranoid and he seems to be really worried about people who might get stuff for free. <laughs> like what is happening with this version of Rogan? Why is he like this now? Why is he so paranoid about, you know, people getting free healthcare, people maybe being helped and looked after, you know, to cover their basic needs? Why does he seem to not like that? And why does he kind of operate in this idea that just because he was able to work hard and achieve his dreams that everybody else if they worked hard they could also achieve their dreams that isn't the case sometimes people just don't you know it just doesn't work out for them they try their best they put their best foot forward and life just doesn't work out for them they're just not lucky in that regard they don't get the lucky break so that's not if that's the case then maybe redistributing some of the wealth around to some of the people less fortunate is a good way to make sure that everybody's got enough but for some reason people like the rogans and stuff don't like that whatsoever maybe it's just a it's just a consequence of getting older but this clip is really funny because you can tell he's legitimately worried <laughs> that ai may get him in trouble and redistribute all his monies that he's made let's play the clip it features harry mandel as well big up harry mandel what if it's already here and what if, that's, what if that's why our cities are falling apart? That's why crime is rising. That's why we're in <laughs> big up seven dirty. That's true. If Spotify sent you a hundred million, suddenly you'd hate the poor too. Very, very true. You definitely maybe would have some very different opinions about the soup kitchen around the corner. But yeah. Royaled in these tribal arguments that seem to be separating the country and some of them because your conversation right now things. but your conversation right now is exactly what's happening I, yeah. I i agree with you but why are you making ai another tribe you know you're just that's why we're trying no, no 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 that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is uh, what if that is the reason why all this is happening what if the by the way this episode of um joe rogan with harry Bandera, i'm only halfway through is maybe one of the better ones if you don't like comedy talk and stuff I honestly recommend giving this a go because Harry Mandel comes from it from a different point of view. He's super famous, but he's also very humble and he talks about it with a sense of appreciation and wonder and stuff. And it's kind of a cool episode. And because he's quite combative, he pushes back really well with Rogan. So if you haven't listened to Rogan in a while, I recommend check out this episode of Harry Mandel. It's really good. The best way to get human beings to, uh, if you want to take over, why would you fight us? Well, don't, they've seen Terminator. They know those guns and tanks and all this craziness. How about just continue to degrade and erode the fiber of civilization to the point where you have to, there's no more jobs. You have to provide people with uh, income, universal basic income, free electricity, free food, free, free internet. So everybody gets all this stuff. You get free money, free food, free internet, and then nobody does anything. And then I, people stop having babies, <laughs> and then birth rate drops off to a point where the technology you give people is so fantastic that nobody wants to miss it. So okay, nobody wants to shine. <laughs> but this is what I would do if I was a, if I was an artificial general intelligence. I would say, listen, I have all the time in the world. I don't have a biological lifetime, uh -huh. and these people has, haven't realized that I'm sentient yet. So, what's the best way to gain complete and co total control? Well, first of all, trick them into like communism or socialism or something where there's a centralized control. <laughs> and definitely have centralized digital money, and then once you've got all that, give them technology and perks and things, and divvy up all the money from the rich people that you subjugate, and and give that money to people. Print it, do whatever the fuck you want. And then get people to like a, a minimum state of existence where everything's free. Free food, free internet, free God cell forbid. phones. God free forbid. Everything. God forbid. And then wait for them to die off. So what, what's better now? Let all the rich hold all the wealth. Let all the 1% hold, you know, 95% of all the flipping wealth out there. And then keep telling them that they can do it too if they buy your ebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy man and it's it's funny too because for me like rogan's like 
amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love the podcast, but you'd think he'd have a lot more like appreciation for just how lucky he is because it's not like he invented something, right? He just talks into a microphone about random shit, but he was one of the first. He was obviously someone that did it really well in the beginning, kept doing it consistently. People liked him good conversations good topics whatever the reasons are behind it but it's not as if like you know he created a piece of technology like he doesn't even he hasn't even he hasn't even created a piece of technology within the podcasting field that would make him be that kind of um important in terms of the overall you know history of the world right where maybe you'd have some justifications for having these reservations i don't know whatever it may be called he seems to be overly self-important or overly kind of, you know, worried about his wealth and stuff, even though he got very lucky in some way in how he made his money in some way. Of course, he worked very hard and he's clearly talented in some things that he does clearly, but you would think he'd be a lot more appreciative and also be like, you know what? I made it and I was lucky, but not everybody is lucky as I am. So I'm going to go out of my way to be open to the idea that some people just need a leg up some people need things handed to them because life just didn't you know the crookie didn't crumble in their favor but he doesn't have the idea if anything rogan's rogan's success kind of did the reverse it kind of made him believe in pull yourself up by his bootstraps even more like he believed in it even more because he's like no i was a nobody before i wasn't this famous i wasn't this rich and then i did it and he's got this idea in his head like if i can do it you can do it too which is somewhat true, but, you know, in the wider scheme of things, it isn't. There are some people out there, and I'm, I've known them, I've grown up in areas like this where life just doesn't work out for them through no fault of their own, just through the circumstances of which they're born into. It just is what it is. And for those people, what do you do? You just, like, leave them be, destitute, struggling. Or do you try and help them out if some people have amassed all the wealth through luck, through flipping you know, family or whatever it may be. Maybe there's some way to kind of work it out. I'm not too sure what the solution is, but this idea that everybody can achieve everything is just really insane. And it's also funny that it's coupled with the idea of him wanting, not wanting to share any of his stuff. <laughs> and if his money's like, no, 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 no. We're not redistributing my money. No way, Jose. This is all mine. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> this is all mine. Hey, big up Austin Casey. Thank you for the $10. He is important. Don't you realize there are only 1,000 comedians in the entire world? <laughs> the rest of the population are lowly pedestrians. <laughs> exactly. There's only, only 1,000 of them. Only 1,000 of them. Oh, 